Right, this evening I am going to do a really quick video um, to show you how to make a number line using sticky notes um, and just have fun with a number game, missing numbers, order the numbers, rearrange the numbers. Um, so here we go. So, sticky notes already prepared this time with numbers from 0 to 10 and these could be 0 to 20. I include a zero because as a teacher that was always a number that a lot of children came to school in key stage one and wouldn't recognise because we don't share it and see it very often. We always talk about numbers from one to ten. So please, please encourage your children to think about the number zero as well. Okay, so with my sticky notes, okay, they're not going to do any damage to my wall. Freshly painted during lockdown, first time round, I have to say. So um, use wall, use a door if you don't want to use your walls. Use tables, even floor, but the kids love nothing more than sticking stuff on the walls. My girls used to do this an awful lot when they were little, um, and with spellings too, which is another video. So here we go. Making sure I've got plenty of room to put my numbers out, and that you can see. So 10, 9, 9. Um, so one of the reasons behind putting the numbers across like this is because this is how children will first experience number lines at school or nursery okay so this is what we call a number line or a number track okay now when you've stuck those numbers on the wall you can just do a straightforward count get your children to come and count um, using pens and pointers in fact I've got a pointer upstairs I'll use that in my next video so counting along the number line get your child to be the teacher Come on then, Charlie. Off we go. Point to the numbers. Count as we point. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And by doing that, what we're doing is a check that our child recognises those numbers and can say those numbers out loud. What you could do next is say, OK, can you point to number four? Can you point to number nine? Can you find number two? Can you see number 10? You'll notice say the question in, mix up the way you ask those questions to your children, think about the language you're using. But you can see already, it's a bit of a game, it's fun. It's not sitting, looking and trying to remember how to read a number, spot the number in your book, whack it on the wall, it's great. Okay, next thing we could do is we could reorder the number line and again with our girls when they were little we used to do this against the clock so we would either set a stopwatch or put a time on to see how quickly we could do it so here we go nothing else that i used to find when i was teaching children would come to school and although they could read numbers across a number line like that when we come to read numbers backwards can't always do it so here we go 10. so here we've got a reverse number line okay um, and again just stress the importance of counting backwards with your children as well Put this as a countdown, you know, your space rocket timer. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, all the way to zero. Perfect. So we've got lots of counting up the number line and down the number line there. Another thing, another little tip to do, is don't always put the numbers out like this. That's another thing that I used to find with children, um, particularly in key stage one, and even in key stage two, you know, because that's how we traditionally write numbers on a page, across a page. 1 to 10, 0 to 10, 10 to 1. How about mix it up and put them down the wall? Okay? So just making it a little bit different. And still, we're just ordering numbers. That's all we're doing. And go. Okay, let's move it down. Okay, we'll see. 0 to 10. Okay. Now, next thing I will be doing with this number line taking some of those numbers away so when I know my child or my children are confident with recognising and saying those numbers I'll be taking some of them away so I'll start with just one just take one number away you ready close your eyes or turn around no peeking take a number away okay you can look ask your child can they recognise which numbers missing if they get it right brilliant you show them the number put it back if they're not sure and you think they're a little unstuck Let's encourage them to count from zero. So have a look at the numbers to check what's missing. Zero, one, two, three. Get them to say the numbers. Something's missing there. What is it? Eventually when they can find that number, pop it back in. 
And again, making it more fun by getting your child to be the teacher and you take part in the game. My girls used to love that as well, especially if Daddy and I got it wrong. Um, in fact, I very often used to do that in the classroom and some children that might watch this video that were ever in my class might find that they used to go home and tell parents that Mrs Benton got that wrong. Um, there's a reason I used to get it wrong. Gets them thinking, switches the brain. So we can have it going up and down, across, doors, floors, walls, wherever. When your child's getting really good, what they could do is again, no peeking, turn around, cover your eyes, take away a couple of numbers and look back. When they recognise those numbers that are missing, pop them back. Okay. One more game to play with your numbers on the post-it notes. Pick them up in any order. And a couple of variations here. And again, things that our girls really used to like was give them the sticky notes in any order and then get them to reorder them on the wall or the door, whichever surface you're using. But another thing that we used to do that our girls really loved, would we would go around the room or a couple of rooms and we would stick the post-it just in random places around the room and the girls would then have a timer of say two minutes and we'd say ready, steady, go. And on go, they'd have to go and collect all the post-its up, bring them back to where we were and then put them out in number order. That was a really good game as well. Try it out, have fun, leave a comment, let me know how you get on. Thanks everybody.